Okay, hello. Welcome to my two-week boot review of my Red Wing Iron Rangers. Um, first off, I love these boots and I love how they feel after two weeks. Uh, I think I broke these in pretty quickly compared to a lot of people. Uh, it took me about two and a half days for these boots to feel significantly more comfortable compared to the first day. Uh, that's a lot faster than what I've read. Um, people experience having six months of wear or a year of wear until these feel started feeling comfortable on their feet um for whatever reason mine broke in really quickly and i think for various reasons and i'll talk about those reasons uh later on in this video but but one thing i noticed was there's a bit of a blemish here on the boot and i think that's so cool because this is either like a blister that the cow had or a barb um hit the cow or something but there's it gives it a bit of personality a bit of uniqueness and it's no other boot has this um, but the uppers feel very comfortable um, after two weeks and uh, there's a bit of um, there's a bit of creasing here where the ankles are and that's just through natural through wearing and they'll, they'll, they'll continue to build up character over time uh, I love the heritage style boots um, I have a pair of Thursday boots um, I have diplomats and captains um, now having my red green iron ranges for two weeks I kind of regret buying Thursday captain boots uh, because of how much I love these boots now. Um, so, first things first, the heritage style boot, I love the cap toe. For whatever reason, this style, I just fell in love with. It looks so cool and so rugged. And another thing is, I love these outsoles. A lot of people, they don't really like these outsoles because they're not as grippy. And I honestly haven't had a problem with them. So far, I really like these outsoles these are mini lug vibram outsoles um and these are one of the best outsoles i've had so far the thursday captain um they're not as grippy um as as the iron rangers now these mini lug soles are pretty cool because when they're flat you don't see it it's so cool it's like it gives it a very clean sleek feeling um and I think the older versions of Iron Rangers, they were the um, the cork outsoles were flat. I just I just like the mini the mini lugs. They look cool, and I think they're a lot they're a lot more uh, versatile compared to the older outsoles uh, that was originally on the Iron Rangers. Um, now, talk about my break-in period. So first day, very rigid. I the, my first impressions on that very first time walking with these were the uppers were so so tough and. Like it gave a lot of support. I really appreciated that. But the insoles also were very, very tough on my feet. I got a blister um, the first day wearing them on my right foot on the heel. And I believe that's because there's a slight asymmetry between my left and my right foot. Um, my right foot is slightly shorter and wider. Very weird, I know. Um, but I think that contributed to the bit of heel slipping. Um, and over time it created a blister on my foot. I remedied that by give, giving myself uh, double layers of socks um, and a band-aid over the blister. That way it gave my foot a little bit more protection and honestly it helped a little bit with the heel slippage. I still happened a bit, but I did some research and I found a way of lacing these boots to prevent heel slippage and it was a heel lock. I'll go over how I lace these up uh, later on in the video. But yeah, so the first day was really really tough on my feet um, I needed to give it a break um, and then the second day around it felt a little bit more comfortable um, obviously because I had my socks double layers of socks and the band-aid to protect my blister um, and that significantly helped um, and also this the summer weather honestly helped make the uppers more pliable and more um, supple and it kind of molded to the shape of my feet and my ankles a lot a lot more um, so I think that contributed to how comfortable they felt on the second day. And then two and a half days in, it was like night and day difference. I put on these boots and I was like, whoa, these feel great. These are starting to actually like, I can, I can stand and I can walk around in these for hours without feeling any discomfort. And obviously, insole, still pretty rigid. Um, it's still flat, but I can tell it's, it's starting to um, take shape uh, but over time my feet will feel a bit fatigued because of how flat these um, the insoles are and they're very tough um, so as I walk around they, my, the ball of my feet will eventually start fatiguing um, but the uppers feel fantastic they feel comfortable I can stand in these for hours um, <clears throat> so uh, 
uh, going into the third day and then obviously into that first week I was if, if it got even better second week same thing got even better it feels great it feels fantastic and I think it's also because the insole is starting to you know take shape to my foot not quite but it's starting to and I can I put my phone actually into the boot and I saw like my imprint of my of my toes and of the ball of my foot on the on the insole and it's just it's just darker darker spots on the insole and I think that's just the moisture from my feet um, leaving its imprint but it's kind of cool seeing like how the insole is starting to take shape and it makes it my own it makes it um, uh, very unique toward to me like if someone else were to, were to wear my boots they wouldn't have the same sort of comfort I would because it's specifically literally molded to my feet um, and also I have shoe trees I was recommended online by a couple of reddit users to have shoe trees in my boots um, that way it prevents he uh, the toe from looking too um, bulbous too too big because the uh, the part where it creases right here will start to indent if I don't put a shoe tree in um, so keeping a shoe tree will keep the shape of the boot and also it absorbs uh, a lot of the the funk and the moisture that's in the boots um, after wearing it uh, that way it doesn't smell and it like it, it it it'll keep my boots healthy i don't know if that's the right term but it, it keep it keeps it healthy <laughs> i'll say that let's go on to i think how i was able to break in these boots in a short period of time i think one contributing factor was i got my feet measured at red wing uh they have a device where i stand on and they literally it scans my foot and then i walk over they, they can check how i distribute the pressure across my feet as I walk as well that was very sick I'll show you on screen um, uh, we'll see that my feet are a bit different I think my right foot is slightly wider and slightly shorter and then um, my the arches are slightly different as well but that's not too big of a difference to be honest but the most important thing I in my opinion I think was the slight difference in width and in length that contributed to the heel slippage um <clears throat> but other than that it was it was kind of cool and it was it was cool to see like my 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 stats let's say um and i think getting my feet scanned and finding the right boot size contributed to how well i broke these in um my feet didn't move around a lot you know obviously besides this the heel slippage and then uh also the summer weather i think contributed to how supple the leather felt because with the heat it made it a little bit more pliable it let my, my my boots mold around my feet uh better um so that probably helped with the break-in process and also the fact that i found a way to prevent the heel slippage um, i used the heel lock lacing uh method so, you know, rather than your conven your conventional way of lacing up um, speed hooks, you know, going from the top, I mean, going from the bottom up, um, I did a heel lock where it prevented my heels from moving, but then it also still allowed my, my ankles to actually bend, um, giving me a little bit more flexibility in the top. So rather than going to the bottom speed hook, I, I went to the top. So I hooked the top, and then I crossed again, went down to the bottom speed hook, hooked that, and I'm pulling it taut by the way, I keep it, while well, I have it on my feet, but um, I, I'll pull it taut, cross again, go to the middle speed hook, and then I'll just do your regular, regular lace. And then this allowed me to tighten up at a lower point on my boot. Uh, rather than tightening up at the top, it tightened up at the bottom and I kept the top, I was able to keep the top a little bit more uh, uh, flexible. So after tying it, we can see that it tightens up at a lower spot, keeping my, um, the top of my foot in place so then my heels don't move up and down, but it still allowed my ankles to flex back and forth uh, while I'm walking. And I think this contributed a lot to how well I broke these boots in because it just, it literally kept my feet in place and it molded to how my feet moved and how it, uh, how it's shaped so that contributed a lot to the break-in process and honestly two weeks in i'm very happy about how well these boots have have been feeling and how well they've broken in so far and they'll continue to keep feeling even more comfortable too as the insole starts taking shape so, yeah, so that's my 
quick little two week boot review. I'll continue to keep you guys posted on how these break in and how these look over time. And maybe I'll do like a boot, um, I'll condition these boots maybe six months from now. Um, and I'll maybe do some videos on where I, I brush up, brush them up and like wipe them down a little bit just to keep it looking pristine. But yeah, so um, two weeks, my thoughts, thoroughly enjoy these. I would recommend these. Um, get your shoe size uh, measured at Red Wing. Um, that way you can find the best boot or the best size to fit you. And I didn't realize I was a double E until I got my feet measured. So you never know, you might have wide feet and you didn't know. So.